Welcome fellow developers to the only YouTube channel dedicated to learning the OutSystem platform. Welcome fellow developers and today we are going to learn how to create and seed a database. We are going to start by creating a new application. We're going to start from scratch. Then we're going to select next button. It's going to be a reactive web app. Next. And what are we going to name this? We're going to name it CRUD. Create, read, update, and delete. So it's going to be CRUD app. Cre no, no. Oh, well, I'll catch up in a minute. Read, delete, no, subdate. and delete and let's clean that up create all right and, and let's take gray for our color and we're going to create an app and we create the module and today's it's going to be a fairly short uh video uh, I'm going to try to keep it short because what we're going to be talking about, about is about creating and seeding a database, a brand new database in OutSystem. We're going to be using Excel spreadsheets for an app that we are all going to build together, uh, having to do with students and classes. And so we're going to go and click on the data tab. And as you can see, the database is empty as expected. We're going to click, right click and import entities from Excel. And I'm going to go to my documents and there's my folder with my Excels. We'll bring the students database first. And notice at the bottom it says sheet one. That's because I didn't rename the, uh, the actual sheet of Excel, but I'll, I'll just change it here to students, capital S. Next, we're going to uh, import uh, the student class semester tape. Again, is uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to rename it. By the way, I've done this on purpose. You'll see in a in a few moments that there are other tables that come in correctly, named correctly. Next, we're going to import a semester. And we are going to rename it. Now we are going to bring in uh, classes. Notice that the sheet was named classes or class. So it makes the table with the correct name. And uh, the same thing is going to happen with our next uh, spreadsheet, which is dates. All right. Essentially, you, uh, if you did this, you will have created a database to start out with and have seeded it. So you can see each one of the tables uh, has all of the... Uh, the the information from the excel spreadsheet uh, certainly the uh, the headers but does it have the data let's see oh look at that no data i wonder why what if we compile this let's compile and see what happens in a moment i'm going to show you one of those idiosyncrasies of um out system that you need to keep in mind and uh, let's see I'll show you if we go here to view data you'll notice that there is no record in data it's not coming back but trust me there there's there's a record in there okay so we yes of course we don't have anything there to view uh, all right so let's see let's look at another one let's look at states all right the data came through Let's look at students now. 
Bingo. Come on. Show it to me. So the data was there. It's just that it, it doesn't refresh really well. It's, you know, it, it just doesn't work that way. Uh, the rest of the tables all have their data in there. Um, but one of the things that I noticed is that students has a, um, for states, it has a, a text. See right there? The code is a, it's a text code. Now I really want to make it um, something that relates to the state table. But I'm going to show you what happened if you make this change directly. We're going to view this data. All right, let's go somewhere else first. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on. View data. Okay, so we have to, um, let's see. It says your data model is incorrect. And of course, it, it, it kind of is. So we're going to go back to the way that it was, that it was uh, text 50. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another, um, see, it's back to the way that it was. I'm going to add another, another column that I am going to call state ID. And it's going to be automatically a uh, state identifier because magically in the background, OutSystem figures it out for you. So if I compile this, I should see a new column at the far right that's called state ID 2. I'll rename this later and, and I'll make some other changes. Uh, but the goal here is to quickly just kind of show you how you know, have to do this. Oh, look at that. I can't find state ID too. I wonder why. Did you see something at the far right hand corner? There was a, a, a little number that said one. Let me grab it. Okay. See that number at the very top on the right? That means that a, one column is being hidden. There we go. There's my new column. It's uh, state ID too. All right. Well, this concludes the, the, uh, this particular uh, video, it, it's very quick and simple. It's for the person that, that's novice at starting this process. And uh, we'll, uh, we're going to go from here and make um, a complete application. So stand by uh, to see what that turns out to be. Thank you very much for watching our video. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and click on the uh, thumbs up button and uh, and hit the bell and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Talk to you guys later.